welcome you all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe since this tutorial we are going to make it a simple video on how to cut and sew your low back bustier dress so this form of dress basically your back block is usually very low just like the way you have your show me your back or you know your low back um, back block that's what we are going to achieve in this tutorial if you're interested in learning how to achieve that please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe and because basically your back block is very low i'm going to show you guys how to really pad your bust area so that it can stand properly even without putting on you know any bra and all of that so what are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your low back bust address you have your waist measurements your bust measurements your hip your gown length your sleeve length and your round sleeve now don't forget to join us on facebook 3 designs on instagram tg designs and also visit our website we have amazing fashion illustration on our website all the details are going to be in the description box below so let's go ahead now and calculate our basic measurements so our bust measurement is 30 36. 36 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1 we have 10.5 inches our waist is 30 inches 30 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 10 inches our hip is 38 38 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1 we have 11 inches our shoulder measurement is 6 14 14 divided by 2 we have seven inches our gown length is 60 inches so gown length basically is from our shoulder measurement to our desired length and note that because you're also going to part this upper part of your dress so that your bust can sit firmly you're going to have your half length so basically what do you understand by half length half length is simply the measurement from your shoulder to one inch above your navel button now in order for you to know the exact measurements to use for that i have a detailed size chart to Tutorial, which I'm going to go ahead and link here please go ahead and watch that video and I also have detailed size charts which is available and the size chart starts from size 4 to size 28 all you have to do is to reach out to us check out the details in the description box and place your order for your size chart so let's go ahead now our gown length is 60 inches from shoulder to waist I have 16 inches so my shoulder to waist Shoulder to waist, I have 16 inches. Shoulder to knee length, shoulder to my knee length, I have 36 inches. All these, you know, topics are what you are going to have in the size chart and that is what you're also going to get when you order for our size charts now because the gown stops at the gown length which is 36 inches you are going to deduct 60 inches from 36 but before i calculate this gown length let's go ahead now and calculate our round sleeve our round sleeve is 12 inches 12 divided by 2 you have 6 inches 6 inches plus 2 inches for your sewing allowance you have 8 inches our sleeve length is 12 inches 12 plus 2 inches sewing allowance you have 14 inches so now let's go ahead now and discuss our gown length so our gown length now is 60 inches our shoulder to waist is 16 inches shoulder to waist is 16 inches shoulder to knee length we have 36 inches now what you are going to do now is your shoulder to waist you are just going to go ahead and add so your shoulder to waist basically you just go ahead and add one inch to that for your sewing allowance and that is why you are going to have your bustier effect so go ahead now and add one inch for your shoulder to waist you have 17 inches now shoulder to gown length knee length we have 36 inches so you deduct 36 minus 16 inches you have 20 inches so the lower piece now which is from your waistline to your gown length you have 20 inches now you go ahead and add one inch for your sewing allowance you have 21 inches now what you are going to do now is to determine what you want for the lower part of your dress either you want the lower part to be a flare to give like a mermaid effect or you want it to be pleating it all depends on what you want to achieve at the end of the day but for me i'm going to make use of 
pleating for the lower part of this dress to give me my mermaid effect so now our gown length is 60 inches all you are going to do now to determine the amount of inches you need for your flay to determine the amount of inches you need for your flay all you are going to do now is 60 inches 60 inches minus 36 60 inches minus 36 which is your gown length minus your shoulder to knee what you are going to have now is 24 inches you are going to have 24 inches right so your flame now is going to be 24 inches go ahead and add two inches to, for your seam allowance you have 26 inches so for your gown length i've gone ahead now to break the measurements for our gown length Length is 60 inches shoulder to waist we have 16 plus one inch seam allowance you have 17 shoulder to your knee you have 36 inches plus one inch seam allowance you have 37 plus one inch seam allowance you're going to cut out 37 inches now the amount of inches you need for your flay deduct your shoulder to gown from your gown length you have 26 inches so these are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your eye low back dress and like i said in order for you to know the inches required for your shoulder to waist your shoulder to gown length please go ahead and order for our size chart all these are in details when you get the size chart now if you have any question in the course of this tutorial please feel free to drop your questions in the comment sections and trainings are available both online training and physical training now let's move to the cutting part of this tutorial so the first thing we are going to do now is to go ahead basically and draft our pattern and also i'm going to go ahead now and draft my pattern show that to bust nine and a half so that's to arm o nine inches to bust nine and a half so that's to arm o nine inches so that's to under bust 13 and a half so that's to waist 18 inches waist to hip eight inches now i know you might want to ask me that how did i come across all these lines i have a detailed tutorial on distance calculation where i explained how to calculate all this i'm going to go ahead and put the link of that video here please go ahead and watch that and you can also order for our ready-made size chart okay it helps you to know all these measurements so i'll go ahead now and connect the lines together is i'm going to go ahead now and mark my dart measurement so my dart measurement is four inches i'll mark four inches now i'll go ahead and connect my dart lines together on the waistline mark half inch on both sides i'll mark half inch on both sides and connect the lines together connect the lines together now because what i want to achieve is bustier effect i need to pad the front block because the back block is going to be very low so it means that for this style you will not be putting on a bra right so i need to pad the front so that the boobs can stand firm so i'll go ahead now and extend this shoulder line this waistline to my shoulder I will extend it this way now on the under bust mark half inch on both sides on the under bust mark half inch on both sides go ahead and connect the lines together so this will basically give you your bustier effect I'm making use of this pattern master and pattern masters are available at our store gone ahead now to connect it this is what it looks like so on your shoulder line go ahead and mark five inches on your shoulder line mark five inches connect it to your bust line this way you can see what it looks like so the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark our basic measurements now before you mark your shoulder measurements please go ahead and close your shoulder that so the reason why you are closing your shoulder that is so that you can have the exact measurements you need for your shoulder so our shoulder is seven inches go ahead now and mark seven inches our bust is 10.5 we'll go ahead and mark 10.5 our waist is 
our hip is 11 inches now because it's a mermaid dress you are going to deduct one to two inches on this lower part so here we have 11 inches i'm going to deduct one and a half inches i'll mark nine and a half inches so i'll go ahead now and connect it to our hip line connect your hip line to your waistline and your waist to your bust this is what you have i'm going to make use of this arm o curve which also comes you know in our pattern set to connect our bust now with our arm o so guys this is what it looks like now the next thing you are going to do now is to determine your neckline now because when you are making dresses right once the back block is deep right once you have a deep back block your front block shouldn't be deep and likewise when you have a very deep front block your back block shouldn't be deep you don't want both the front and the back to be too exposed it's really not going to make sense at the end of the day so if your front is very deep your back should be high if your back is very deep your front should be high so now go ahead and mark your neckline three inches by three so i'm going to use three inches by three because like i said i want it to be high neck because the back is going to be very low so this is what i have if you have any question please drop that in the comment section i'll go ahead now and cut this out so guys so guys we've gone ahead now to cut it out you can see i've opened up this part the reason why i opened it is because this upper part you're going to pad it with your you know body and all of that to give you your bust area so you go ahead and open it up on the waistline set this aside once you are done now you now go ahead and cut out this bustier effect this is what's going to give you your bustier effect so go ahead and cut it out so after cutting it out you can see what it looks like this is what it looks like for the upper block and then for the lower piece this is what you have so the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and draft the back block of this so i'm still making use of the same you know pattern make sure that the lines for the front and the back block are equal so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and mark my zip allowance note that for your zip allowance you can use one inch to two inches it depends on how much zip you want to consume so for my zip allowance now i'm going to maintain one inch for my zip allowance like i said you can increase your zip allowance it depends on what you want at the end of the day so i've, so I've gone ahead now to connect my zip allowance the next thing i'm going to do now is to go ahead and draft our dart which is four inches so basically you know if you use four inches for your front block you are supposed to make use of that four inches for your back block so on the waistline go ahead and mark half inch now half inch on both sides and then you connect what you have together this way now the next thing you are going to do is to go ahead and mark your shoulder measurements because this is your back block you don't need all those stuff that we did on the front the reason why we have those is because of your bust here i'm sure you don't want to pat your bust at the back <laughs> your bust is definitely not at the back okay now go ahead and take your bust measurements 10.5 your waist measurements 9.5 your hip measurement 11 inches so in your front block if you deducted one and a half inches you are supposed to use the same for the back block so go ahead now and connect the lines together please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so i'll also go ahead now and connect my I'll also go ahead now with my arm o curve and connect my bust to my arm o this way now the wideness of your neckline for the front block now we made it of three inches by three you are going to maintain that also for your back block now the deepness like i said is a very deep back okay it's a very deep back so this is our waistline this is our waistline you can decide that you know you want it to get to the waist 
it depends on you you can decide that oh i want to have like one inch or two inches above the waist it depends you can decide that you want to come up or you want to come down it depends on how down and all of that you want it to be so now on my waistline i will just mark one inch up now the reason why i'm marking one is like i said this is optional optional okay now up, this is one inch from my waistline i will connect what i have here now to the wideness of my neck it means that the back block is going to be this long this deep rather so just go ahead and you know give it a round curve it's a very deep back so on your shoulder now mark half inch for your shoulder slope and then you slant it for your shoulder slope now this is what you have for your back block so let's go ahead now and cut this out so guys now i've cut out the neckline you can see what it looks like and i've also opened it up this style is actually very cute so this is what it looks like right you can see how deep it is so this is what we have now for the back block let's set this aside so for the upper part also for the back block we've also gone ahead to fold our fabric into two place our pattern and this is what it looks like wow whoa, you can see you can see how deep the back is going to be and you can imagine how cute it's going to be so and i love the fact that it's a very deep u-shape neckline now for the front block we've also gone ahead to fold your fabric into two place your pattern paper on it now the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and cut so guys this is what we have so we we'll go ahead now and open this up let us see what we have so we have one piece and then this is basically what it looks like you can see your bustier effect and you can also see that the neck is a very high neck so this is what your back block looks like so the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and transfer it to our fabric so now i've gone ahead to fold my fabric into two i'm making use of this african print and i have the front block of my pattern i'm going to go ahead now and place it this way and cut this out so guys for our back block now we've also gone ahead to fold our fabric into two we have our back pattern go ahead and place your pattern this way and you cut it out so once you cut this out you are basically going to have two pieces for the back block and this is because you are going to fix in your zip at this part so let's add so guys now this is the upper block right we've gone ahead to couple this together it's basically just joining it together so once you join it together this is what it's going to look like you can see the bustier effect and this is what the back block looks like you can see how neat this is so this is what we have so for the back block now the upper piece of our back block don't forget that what we have is a very deep back neckline and i love how cute it is especially the fact that you have like a u-shape at the end of the day so this is what it also looks like i've gone ahead to basically turn them with my lining and this is what we have for the upper piece for the lower piece of the back block we also have two pieces for the lower piece and i've also gone ahead to turn this with the lining and this is what it looks like so what you want to achieve now is this is lower piece of the back block and this is the upper piece of the back block so basically you want to attach the upper piece of you know you want to couple this up to give it like a single piece so all you have to do is to attach the upper piece to the lower piece this way you can see and you also attach it on this side once you are done you go ahead and fix in your zipper because automatically is zipper that's going to connect this two back piece together so that you can have one complete front block so go ahead now and couple the upper piece and the lower piece together and then fix in your zipper now for the upper piece of the front block that is what we have 
and this is the lower piece i don't know if i've showed you guys but this is the lower piece of the front block and we've also turned it with the lining so what you are going to do now is basically go ahead and attach your lower piece now to your upper piece and also fixing your dart so that you can have one complete piece this way so once i'm done joining the both of them to give me like a single piece i'll show you guys what it looks like i'm a beauty i'm a speck <laughs> So this is the back block. We've also gone ahead now to couple this up. You can see we fixed in our zipper and this is what it looks like. So next thing you're going to do now is place your front block on your back block this way because you want to couple this up. So you place the two pieces on each other. Place the two pieces on this on each other. So once you are done with that, make use of your bust measurements, your waist measurements, and your hip measurements to couple this up so that you can have one single piece so guys once you couple this up you're gonna have like your basic dress at the upper side so the next thing you are going to do now is we are going to go ahead now and attach our pleating to this part because what we want is a mermaid dress but by arrangement you want yours to be a short dress it simply means that this is where it's gonna end so because I want mine to be a mermaid dress I'm gonna go ahead now and you know gather all this up which is our hip measurement 40 inches multiplied by 3 we have 120 inches so we are going to gather this up all the way round gather this up all the way round so once i'm done i'll show you guys how cute it looks so guys once you are done you can see what it looks like you can see our bustier effect and then this is what the front block looks like and we've also gone ahead to attach you know our pleating now for the back block you can see where our zip ends and you have your you know show me your back okay your deep you show me your back effect at the back block and this is so cute and this is basically what it looks like so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe i will definitely see you guys in my next one